the directive by parliament to government to institute a board of directors for the revived national flag carrier has materialized with a team of five men and two women inaugurated. A daunting task lies ahead for the maiden board. The first obligation for the team is to swiftly finalize the essentials that will see the airliner commercially take to the skies within three weeks to be the planned July deadline. The outgoing Uganda Airlines interim board was made up of the permanent secretary, Minister of Works and Transport, Waiso Abageya, secretary to Treasury, Keith Mohakanizi, Captain Gad Gasatura, a retired flight captain, and Bisereko Chomuhendo, a commissioner in the Ministry of Finance. We have the task force. The task force, we have people from another world. These were I mainly the people, the aviators, the captains, first officers, and they were not very familiar with the government processes. Now they come to ask the, the bureaucrats to work with them, and you can imagine what happens. You are delaying us. No, I'm not delaying you. It is the process. No, 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 those are just what. So until when we moved on, and eventually we started speaking the same language, and I thank God for that. There is a high rate of optimism, especially from the executive on the team composed of an all-round persons from sectors deemed pivotal to the smooth running of the airliner. On board is a retired flight captain with 19,000 flight hours accounting and a guru in the legal industry. The Uganda Airlines company is owned by government, but it should have a private sector mindset. This one I want to repeat, and when you look at the board members we selected, you will note that it has to have a private sector mindset. Strategic decisions, long-term planning are very key. Customer relationship will be very key to the sustenance. The team commits to see the airline attack to comfortable cruising level of the company pushed to operate as a private entity. Core values are honesty integrity, reliability, professionalism, and hospitality. Honorable Minister, I promise you and the country that at no time shall the board under my chairmanship allow any form of digression from this focus. The Uganda National Airlines Company Limited board members are Godfrey Hawe Pereza, a former minister and also formerly a member of parliament, representing Rubanda East, Benon Kajuna, representing the Minister of Works and Transport, Godfrey Semugoma, representing the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Katharina Sinde Poran, Rehema Mutazindwa, Charles Hamia, and Stephen Aziku Zuwa. Whereas the chief executive officer is meant to be an ex-official member of the board, the current CEO, Engineer Ephraim Bajenda, won't sit on the board. We have an interim uh, CEO who is not going to continue as CEO. So the first, the first job that they are going to do is to get a substantive C chief executive officer on a board because the chief executive will be part of the board, but he will be ex-official. So it is important to put a substantive chief executive officer in place. His budget is scheduled to become the head of maintenance of the national carrier. Civil Aviation Authority, as in support of the airliner, offered the company a full office floor at Entebbe International Airport. The authority divulged this at the sidelines of the public hearing of applications for air services licenses. Our national airline, what about preferential treatment in Toronto of Jetwawa. For example, we got office accommodation to this project to, to Jifuri Deco, a full floor for Jokubera. Parking charges, we are in the Homo airline. That's what we're talking about, exempting Navy Electronics. Onyango Jackson and Samuel Senono reporting for UBC TV.